Today I'm at Wine Connection in Sukhumvitsoi 47 and I'm meeting James Newman, British writer. And I'll be talking to James about his life as a writer in Bangkok. Let's go talk to James. Hi James, thanks for being on the show. As a British writer, what brought you to Thailand? Um, well, first of all, thanks for inviting me to your library here. I arrived in Thailand September 2011 and I was uh, just a backpacker. Um, I travelled through India, worked in Bollywood for a while, went to Nepal, went to Malaysia, Singapore, all around the region and Bangkok was like a, the hub of Southeast Asia, like the London of uh, Europe, you know, you had to go there to get anywhere else. And um, I travelled through so many times and grew to love the place so much that I decided that it was uh, it's a good place to call uh, as a base to yeah, work yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. Tell, how many books have you got to date? Well, um, standalone novels and novel length works, I think about nine or ten. And I've also done a lot of short stories, anthologies, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Um, I actually started out writing short stories. Um, they grew and grew, and then I found homes for them in, in various books. But the main series, this, this uh, Joe yeah. Dillon series, yeah. There's actually there's three here, but there's actually four and another one yeah, yeah. Uh, right. that we're working on, so there's five. Where in Bangkok do you find your inspiration? Well, I wouldn't say where as much as kind of when. Um, mm. I like to travel around Bangkok very early in the morning. I think Bangkok, five o'clock in the morning is just the, the perfect time. While most people are sleeping. Everyone's sleeping. It's yeah. cooler, the roads aren't as busy. Um, and I like to take the public bus and go around from, you know, from Bangna all the way across to, uh, you know, to Silom, somewhere like this, through Rama 4, and you get to see all these strange things um, unraveling, people out from the night before, people start in the day, um, yeah. and a lot of my ideas come from these journeys around so the city. You would see things and that would inspire a story? Yeah, or, sure, yeah. Or end up as part and characters? You'd and find characters, you'd yeah. find ideas, you're asking, wondering about people's history and, and where they're going. Bangkok has a lot of characters and um, I'm, I'm sure uh, some of them have ended up in, in, uh, in books. <laughs> Most of them, yeah. yeah James, The White Flamingo, it's a really interesting story. Tell me a little bit about the story. Sure, okay. Um, well, the, the first two books were, the first one and the second one were both set in Bangkok and I really got into the kind of, um, Nitty gritty of the city, and um, for the third outing for the detective Joe Dillon in the mm. White Flamingo, I thought that I would maybe create a new place for him to go other than Bangkok. Mm. And using one of the coastal towns in Bangkok and Bangkok itself, yeah. I created a place called Fun City. Mm. Now, Fun City is not really that fun. You yeah. know, a lot of. Uh, uh, it wasn't Paragon. Yeah, I mean, it was. There's crime going on, you know, there's, you know, it's, it's a noir um, yeah. city, which Joe Dillon is, he's there as a kind of, uh, like Rick in Casablanca, he does, he can't really escape the city, but he helps people who want to escape the city, and he's yeah. kind of a tour, tour guide around that city. So um, caught up in it. Yeah. So, and I'd read, and I'd written another book called Itchy Park about the Whitechapel murders in um, London, 1888, yeah, yeah. which Ripper, is yeah. Jack the Ripper, yeah. yeah. Um, and I did, for want of a better word, a hell of a lot of research um, about the Ripper. And then I thought, what if we had a Jack the Ripper style murder in uh, Fun City, in this mm -hmm. fictional town? Um, because it was often said that the Ripper was from the west of London, he went to the east of London where the murders occurred because he couldn't find that kind of you know, uh, the posh. On the, yeah, on the it's for want of a better word. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit posh or west. And then I thought, on a global scale, maybe you've got the Western tourists yeah. who believe they're coming from a richer place, coming to Asia or coming to Fun City, an Asian city, and um, uh, having their way in this area. And Joe Dillon, the hero, has to uh, find this killer before he um, marks off the um, victims one by one. Yeah. Um, so it was, it was a, um, it was a new idea for me to have a, f a, a fictional place yeah. but grounded in Thailand yeah. in a way. Yeah. Did you find this fictional place in the suburbs of Bangkok? Well the suburbs of Chonburi. <laughs> okay. So there you go if you want to find uh, some weird and new wonderful places in Bangkok 
Chunbury is the place, yeah. which is a little bit outside Bangkok. A little of Bangkok, satellite yeah. kind of uh, yeah, suburb yeah. of Bangkok. Because yeah. yeah. it'd be nice actually to, to go on tour in Bangkok and, and visit some of the places in your books. Uh, because a lot of them actually, whilst might have different names and stuff, that actually exist. Sure, yeah, we, we, we play around with uh, locations and names, you know, a lot, lot of people try to, when they read the book, it's like a game if they can, uh, yeah. if they can discover what that place is based on and, uh, you know, okay. and, and readers like that. A great book. What is the weirdest thing you've come across or one of in your travels very early mornings mm. in Bangkok that's either could inspire you uh, well yeah uh, end up end up in one of your books <laughs> so many things so many things i mean the early morning as i say is kind of my thinking time it's my me time you know i've got a family at home i've got uh yeah. you know a job i go to um and often I, I have my kind of creative fictional mind ticking away and uh this morning in fact i was uh i was waiting for the the bus to come it was 5 30 uh in the morning and some um, there's one bus pulled up i'm at the bus stop i'm standing here and some guy is leaned out of the uh window of the bus he's got a he's a foreigner long hair about 65 hair's crazy it's like this he's got a super dry t-shirt on mm -hmm. and he's leaning out of the bus waving at me and i'm you know i'm kind of cautious of people like this Nick Fleetwood, was in the morning yeah uh could well have been is he is he in town <laughs> but uh yeah, so I, I kept my distance, and as the bus pulled away, he pointed at me and pointed at the, the sky like this. And um, anyway, I let it go, just another Bangkok crazy. Um, and then I got the next bus, and I'm sitting there thinking, what if this guy knows something I don't? What if he's from another dimension? What if he's a time traveler? What if the planet that he came from is experiencing a water shortage hence the t-shirt. So these are the kind of things, you know, it's, it's, yeah. it's not that weird, but it could have been, or it yeah. could be, and it still might be, and it might become another book. James Newman, 